For this problem, recall that when we have a rod or any linear object that is increasing in length because of a temperature change, recall that that change in length, or delta L we call it, is equal to the coefficient of linear expansion, alpha, multiplied by the rod's initial length, multiplied by that change in temperature. This problem is asking us to find some final temperature that's required. So as far as this equation is concerned, the most relevant thing we want to find is the change in temperature. We want to find the change in temperature from the initial temperature and then add them together. So we're going to algebraically rewrite this equation to solve for delta T. And we can do that by dividing both sides of the equation by alpha L naught to get delta T on its own. So we find that the change in temperature is equal to the change in length, delta L, divided by alpha L naught. Now the alpha value, the coefficient of linear expansion, is something that varies based on the material. And since the problem tells us that the rod is made from brass, we can find our alpha value for this problem by just looking it up in some kind of reference table or looking it up online. But the problem doesn't tell us anything about the rod's initial length or the rod's change in length. Actually, that's not true. We are told about its change in length, but we're not told about it in terms of like length units. We're not given any information about the length that is something that can be straightforwardly plugged into this equation. What we are told is that the rod is going to be 1.5% longer than it is initially, which is a little bit different. But fortunately, we still don't need to make any huge logical leaps in this problem to find out what we need to do. Because recall that when we're talking about a percent change in some value, what that really means is we're looking for the change in that value divided by the value's initial value, its initial amount. So delta x, for example, divided by x initial. And in our case, since we're talking about the percent change of the length of the rod, that is going to be analogous in our case to delta L divided by L naught, the change in the length of the rod divided by the rod's initial length, which is something that we already have in our equation. If we're looking for this delta L divided by L naught, that is something that already exists in our equation. We already have a delta L divided by L naught. So technically, we actually can plug in a value into our equation, just not quite as two separate values, just as one value that represents both of these two variables. So, delta t is equal to the percent change of the length of the rod. We're going to substitute that into the numerator of our equation, representing 1.5% of a change. And we're given this in the problem as a percentage, but remember that if we want to turn this into a quantity, we need to divide that percentage value by 100. So really what we're going to write is zero point, it's not 1.5, but 0 0.015. And that is what's getting divided by alpha. Also recall that we're not, our final thing that we're looking for is not necessarily the change in temperature, but the final temperature based on the initial temperature that has been given to us. So perhaps a better way to represent what we're trying to find is the final temperature is equal to the initial temperature plus this change in temperature that we've already defined. So the initial temperature we're given is 25 degrees Celsius, and we're adding 0 0.015, that's our percentage increase of the length, divided by the coefficient of linear expansion for the material brass, which if you look this up in a reference table or on the internet, then you'll find a value that's about 19 times 10 to the power of negative 6 inverse degrees Celsius. And if you put that into a calculator, then we find a final temperature of about 814.5 degrees Celsius. Or if you want to round it, about 810 degrees Celsius. And that is our answer to this problem. 
I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best as you can. And that's all for this video and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.